Week 2 action is minutes away as the 1-0 Lions are looking to defend their home turf against the 0-1 Eagles. The Eagles are looking for a better performance than last week, and the Lions try to take down any team in their way to make it to the Big Ten Championship game. The Lions are a dark horse team in the Big Ten. They have a lot of talent, and they have a giant fan base here in Happy Valley, and the Eagles need to come to play today. They can't be making many mistakes, and they need to execute their offense correctly. But with the Lions having one of the better defenses in the Big Ten this year, Eastern Michigan is going to have to put up a lot of points to stay in this game. A very unbalanced team matchup, and... Penn State just takes the cake in this one for me, but I really hope the Eagles can pull it out. Uh, it'd be a shocker. It'd be a, a college football shocker if they did. It'd be sort of like Appalachian State in Michigan a few years ago. But it looks like the players and coaches are ready for this game to start. And if you're Eastern Michigan, all you can really hope to do is just try to stay in this game as best as you can. And, you know, just make some plays. That's really all you can do when you're matched up against a team that's this much better than you. But... I'm not going to, you know, count them out. Anyways, that's all we've got for right now. It's time for the coin toss, and we will be back right away. The Nittany Lions have won the coin toss and have elected to kick the ball as Sam Ficken boots it deep, three yards deep into the end zone. That's Demarius Reed. He's going to take the ball out. He's up past the 10, the 15, the 20. He's making some moves. He's taken down by a pack of Lions. After that lackluster performance last week, you can only imagine what Eastern Michigan feels like as they come on to split back formation started off and Tyler Benz on the read option always taken down after a gain of three. It'll be second down and seven for the Eagles. But like I was saying earlier, if you're Eastern Michigan, you need to come out, put points on the board early and often. As a second and seven, Benz on the triple option and he fumbles the ball that is recovered by a Penn State defensive lineman that is Jones. He's up the 15, the 10, the five and he is taken down. That is just awful luck for the Eagles as Penn State comes out in a pro formation with two fullbacks as Hackenberg hands off to Zach Winack and Winack is going to get tackled in the backfield. That is a loss of three. It was good for the Eagles to contain Zach Winack on that rush as he is very capable of doing a lot on the ground. He has a lot of talent as Hackenberg on her center. Back to pass and he fires it to the back of the end zone. That is Brandon Mosby Felder. 6-0 Penn State. Penn State already finds themselves up seven points as it didn't take them long to capitalize on that Eastern Michigan mistake as Ben's on the read option he is going to get taken down in the backfield for a loss of one. That was a very quick three and out force by Penn State as they received the ball up past midfield as Hackenberg back to pass hands off to Zach Zwinak. Zwinak bounces off a would-be tackle and he's taken down. First and ten for the Lions after a nice draw play by Zach Zwinak as Hackenberg hand off to Zach Zwinak up the middle he's going to the left side of the field and he's got Green in front of him and that is going to be a touchdown for Zach that's a nice 30 yard run for him and that is a 13 point lead already. It only took the Lions four plays to score 14 points. Let's see what Eastern Michigan can do here. That's a fake handoff to Bronson Hill and Tyler Benz throws it to Bronson Hill but he drops the pass. That brings up second down. Second and 10 for the Eagles as Tyler Benz is in a shotgun formation and Benz back to pass and he fires it over the right side of the field. That is to Donald Scott and he's taken down near the 40. That's a nice completion to Donald Scott and I think that needs to happen a lot more. He needs to be uh, utilized more in this offense as Benz is back to pass and he fires it over the middle of the field and that is picked off by Glenn Carson and he Makes an attempt at the return, but he's not going to get very far, but bad mistake made. Penn State already in a very good situation to score again as they are on the 30-yard line. As they come out in a shotgun formation, Hackenberg, and he's got no one to throw to, and he's looking to take off. Hackenberg up past the 25, and he's taken down past the 20. Second down and 10 for the Lions as they are getting closer and closer to the end zone as Hackenberg is under center. Drives back to pass, and he fires it over the left side of the field, and then he finds Kyle Carter, his tight end in the end zone. That was a very nice pitch and catch by the quarterback to the tight end. Eastern Michigan has already dug themselves in a hole, and it's going to be very tough to get out of this. They are already down 21 points as Ben's on the triple option, and he's making his way up the right side of the field. He pitches up to Bronson Hill. Bronson Hill up and past the 30, and he's taken down at the 35 after a gain of 19. The Eagles have found some life in their game through the ground as they are running the triple option once again and Benz making his way to the left side of the field pitches out to Javante Green but he is taken down after a gain of four. Third down and six now as they really need to get something going now. They need a score or something as they come out a split back formation and the fake handoff goes to Bronson Hill and Benz keeps it and he gets the first down but that's a gain of seven. 
first down after that nice run by Tyler Benz. Probably could have gotten more yards if he wouldn't have gotten Schuster tackled as he makes an adjustment at the line. And Benz does not give the ball to Bronson Hill. He keeps it himself. He's making his way up past the 50. He's taken down right before the first down marker. The Eagles are driving now, and every play has been on the ground, so I'm expecting another run as Benz is under center. He takes the snap, hands it off to Javonta Green on a sweep, and Javonta Green cannot find any room. And as soon as I say the Eagles are driving, they have to pump the ball away to Penn State. As they come on to pro formation, hands off to Zach Zwinak up the middle. Zwinak does not want to go down. That was a hard six yards. Second and four for Penn State as they come out in a shotgun formation. As Hackenberg has Zwinak to his left. Hackenberg takes the snap, back to pass, and he fires it to Brandon Mosby Felder. Felder bounces off of a tackle, and Pudge Khan cannot take him down. He is finally taken down after a gain of 22. Second and 10 now for the Lions as they are at the 45-yard line. And Christian Hackenberg hands up to Zach Zwinak, and he's going up the right side. And Zwinak is hit hard, and he fumbles the ball. That is recovered by Eastern Michigan. He is taken down at the, around the 40-yard line. But that is a great turnover for Eastern Michigan. First down now for the Eagles after that nice turnover as they come out in empty formation. And Tyler Benz back to pass. And he's looking to take off the run, and he is taken down by the shoes. Lucky tackle right there for that Penn State defender. Second down and nine for the Eagles as they are nearing midfield as Benz takes the snap, and he fakes it to Bronson Hill. And he's up past the 50. He's got space in front of him past the 40, the 30, and he is taken down near the 25 after a gain of 32. A great run. First down and 10 for the Eagles as they come out in the split back formation with 30 seconds left in the first quarter as Benz hands the ball out to Javante Green and Glenn Carson says hello. That's a great hit by Carson as Eastern Michigan comes out in an empty formation. That is five wide for the Eagles as Benz takes the snap. He's back to pass and he fires over the middle to Donald Scott. It's a gain of six. Third down now as the Eagles need to get five yards to get the first down as they come out in another empty formation as Benz takes the snap. He's looking for someone to throw to, and he finds Jay Jones, who drops it. That's going to be a field goal attempt for Eastern Michigan. Dylan Mulder out in the field now to attempt this field goal as the kick is up, and it is good. There we go, 18-point game. Penn State back out onto the field to display their high-powered offense right now as Hackenberg back to pass, and he fires it to Allen Robinson, and he gets up to the 40-yard line before he's taken down. Second and one now for the Lions as they come out in a single-back formation. Hackenberg motions his tight end to the left side and he fakes the handoff to Zach Zwinak and he fires it to, to Allen Robinson who breaks off a tackle and gets up to the other 40-yard line. Another first down for Penn State. First and 10 now for Penn State after that nice completion to Robinson as Hackenberg comes out in the shotgun formation setting up the screen to Zach Zwinak. Zwinak gets the pass he's up past the 40, 35 and he runs out of bounds at around the 30-yard line. Second down and four as the Lions are getting closer and closer to that end zone once again. Hackenberg under center, he's back to pass, he's looking to take off, and he is sacked, that is Omar McFarlane. I really love what Omar brings to the table for this Eastern Michigan defense. He's already got five sacks on the year. And on third down and eight, Hackenberg, he's back to pass, and he fires to the left side of the field, and that is caught by Brandon Mosby Felder for a first down. But hold on, it looks like they wanna they want a review for this play. I, I thought it deserved one, but I wasn't going to argue it. Let's see. It looks like he did not get a foot in bounds. That should definitely be a uh, not a first down. Let's see what he says. If he was able to get a foot down or not. Well, I know the receiver isn't too Well, that play was reversed, and they made the correct call as Penn State's out to attempt this field goal. As Ficken, he's got it. He's got a leg, and that is that is too easy for him. That's. 21 point game again. Well, it is now a 21 point game once again as they come out in the shotgun formation and the handoff goes to Bronson Hill on the read option and Bronson gets close to a first down on that carry. Second down and in inches for the Eagles as they are looking to just keep this ground game going as it has been working and bends on the option. He pitches it out to Javante Green who gets up past the 30 yard line before he is taken down after a gain of 15. Second down and eight for the Eagles as they are near field goal range, if not in already, for Dylan Mulder. As Benz, he takes the snap, hands it off to Bronson Hill. Bronson Hill gets the first down, and that is going to be 100 yards on the ground for the Eagles. The Eagles are trying to run a little bit of hurry up right now. As I don't really know why. There's four minutes left in the first half, but 
Benz, he takes the snap, he keeps it himself, and he pitches out to Javante Green. Javante Green's got some space, and he is taken down right before the end zone. You gain a 14. Second and goal, and this is when you have to score. They are, they are this close, they need to score on this drive. Benz under center, he's trying to draw defense offside. It's not working, but it doesn't matter. As he hands it off to the big boy, Joe Fleming, the fullback, and he gets the touchdown. See, I, I really enjoyed watching that drive. The offense just seemed to click on that as they are down by 14 points now. As Hackenberg is back to pass, send up another screen for Zach Zwinak, but Elmar McFarland does not let him get far. Third down and eight, and if Eastern Michigan can force a punt right now, that'd be very, very good. Hackenberg, he sends his tight end in motion. He's in the empty formation, and he's back to pass, and he fires it to his tight end. That is Kyle Carter for a gain of 13, another first down. First down once again for the Lions as they come out in a split back formation. Hackenberg, he takes the snap and he keeps it himself on a read option. Hackenberg up past the 50, the 40, and he is taken down from behind by Darius Scott. Good play there. Third down again for the Lions as they are in field goal range for Sam Ficken as they come out in an empty formation. As Hackenberg is back to pass, he fires over the right side of the field. That is to Alex Kenny. He's up past the 5 and he's taken down at the 3. Penn State looking to go up by 21 once again if they can score a touchdown on this drive. Hackenberg under center on the option. He pitches it out to Zach Zwinak, and Zwinak is going to make his way into the end zone untouched. And that's going to be another touchdown for Zwinak. There's two on the day. Eastern Michigan can just not stop the run today, or the pass for that matter, as they come out in a weird split back formation as Benz. He fakes the handoff. And he is sacked. That is a loss of seven. Third down and forever for the Eagles as they need 17 yards to convert on this play. As Benz is back to pass and he fires over the middle of the field. He's caught by Jay Jones, but that is not going to be enough. Penn State is in great field position once again as they are at the 35-yard line. Hackenberg back to pass and he fires it over to the Allen Robinson on the right side of the field for a gain of 13 yards. First down after that completion to Allen Robinson, and they come out in the shotgun formation once again. Hackenberg, he takes the snap. He's looking to pass, and he is sacked. That is Omar McFarlane. That is sack number six in the year for Omar as Penn State comes out in the shotgun formation, and Hackenberg, he's loading up, and he, he fires it to Allen Robinson in the end zone. Another touchdown for Penn State. Penn State is up by 28 points now as Eastern Michigan does not want to go out early. They want to go out swinging as Benz is making his last minute adjustments and he's back to pass and he throws an interception that is picked off and it is returned up to the 40 yard line. Seven seconds left in the first half as Penn State probably going to take one last shot at the end zone but they set up a screen and Zach Zwinak has the ball and he is out at the 35 yard line. They're going to attempt a field goal. This is a very long field goal and the kick is up, and it is just good. That is a 31-point lead going into halftime. Penn State is putting on a show today for their crowd in Happy Valley. They are up by 31 points. And second down, and they are in the shotgun formation. Hackenberg back to pass, and he fires it to, that is Matt Lehman, I believe, for six yards. Third down for the Lions, and they are looking to convert and add on to this massive lead they already have. As Hackenberg, he... Hands the ball off to Zach Zwinak, and Zwinak gets past the first down marker. He's past the 40, the 50, and he breaks off a tackle, and he is pushed down around the 40-yard line after a gain of 30. First down after that nice run by Zach Zwinak as Hackenberg comes out under center. He hands the ball off to Zach Zwinak again, who goes up right at the middle, and he is taken down after a gain of 11 by Donald Coleman. Penn State out to attempt the field goal. This should be pretty easy for him as the kick is up. And it looks like it's good. That's going to be a 34-point lead. Penn State has a massive lead right now over Eastern Michigan. And they just need to come out and just try to get some points. As Benz, he finds Demarius Reed. He's past the 40 and taken down after the 35-yard line after a gain of 30 through the air. First down after that nice completion to Demarius Reed. And they come out in a split-back formation. Tyler Benz is back to pass, and he fires another corner out. That is Jay Jones for a gain of 17. Second down and 10 for the Eagles as they come out in a pistol formation. And Tyler Benz, he gives the ball to Bronson Hill on the option, but only gets four yards. Third down and six for the Eagles as they are near field goal range for Dylan Mulder. That doesn't really make an impact anymore, though, as Benz, he fires it to Demarius Reed, who drops it, and that's going to bring up fourth down and six. The Eagles need to convert on this play as it would give them a new set of downs as they come out in a split-back formation 
And Tyler Benz is looking for someone to throw to, but he is sacked. The Eagles have just had really bad luck this whole game. As Penn State comes out on their own 40-yard line as Hackenberg fakes the handoff to Zach Zwinak and fires it over the left side of the field to Kyle Carter. Third down and two, and Penn State really just needs to just keep this ball in their own possession, but Zach Zwinak is wrapped up in the backfield. That's a loss of one, and it's going to be a punt to Eastern Michigan. The Eagles start out on their own 20 after that nice punt from Penn State as they are in the empty formation. Tyler Benz takes the snap. And he throws over the middle of the field. That is Julius Shelby, who makes the completion. He gets around 25 yards in the completion and gets taken down around the 40-yard line. First and 10 after that nice pass to Julius Shelby. As Benz, he's making some adjustments to the play. And there are no more wide receivers on the left side of the field. Let's see what's going to happen. As Benz, he takes the snap. He fakes it to Bronson Hill. And he tries to pitch it to Javante Green. That's a fumble. That's a great heads-up play for Javante Green, though. Second and 16 after that miscue between... Uh, Benz and Javante Green as the handoff goes to Bronson up the middle. He cuts out to the right side. He's up past the 45 and he is taken down after a gain of seven. The run game has been very effective today for Eastern Michigan, but on third down and nine, this is more likely a passing situation as he fakes the handoff to Bronson Hill and he fires over the middle field, but that is picked off and that was intended for Donald Scott, I believe. That was the third interception of the day for Tyler Benz. Second and seven for the Lions as Hackenberg is having a great day still. As Hackenberg hands the ball up to Zach Zwinak. Zwinak rolling up the middle of the field and he powers his way for a first down on the ground. Minute 30 left in the third quarter. Penn State still up by 34 points as Hackenberg. He's dropping back to pass and he fires it to Allen Robinson on the short crossing route who gets eight yards on the reception. Nice gain. Right now if you're Houston Michigan, you just, you just want to clamp down on defense. Try not to let... A lot more points get put up on the board as Hackenberg keeps on the read option and gets the first down of himself. Second down and two as there are 30 seconds left in the third quarter. As Hackenberg takes the pass and he rolls out towards his right side and he throws it to Allen Robinson. And that is completed for a gain of seven yards. The fourth quarter is upon us as Penn State is knocking on the door once again. As Hackenberg hands the ball to Zach Zwinak and Zwinak goes nowhere. And that will bring up third down. Third down and four for the Lions as they come out in a shotgun formation. And Zwinak is to the right of Hackenberg as Hackenberg drives back to pass. And he throws it to Zach Zwinak who bounces off of it to would-be tackler and into the end zone for a touchdown. Penn State is now up by 41 points and it's just, it's impossible to come back right now for Eastern Michigan unless they make something amazing happen. Well, like I said, I just, I don't see anything, uh, anything happening for the Eagles that's going to be good. I don't think they can score 41 points in this amount of time. Second down and 10 for the Eagles as Benz, he switches up the play as he is going into a pistol formation. It's a weak pistol formation and he's changing it around again. I don't really know what he's doing. He may have flipped the play around as Benz, he takes the snap and he fakes it to his running back but he pitches out to Bronson Hill and Bronson Hill's got some blocks and he is up he's up he breaks off a tackle he's up to a 10 yard line that was a great run by Bronson Hill for 30 yards that was an outstanding run by Bronson Hill and it brings up first and goal for the Eagles as Tyler Benz keeps the ball himself and he pitches it to Javon, uh, Bronson Hill my bad for a game of six you gotta think that Eastern Michigan goes for two if they get a touchdown on this drive and Benz actually finds his way into the end zone and they are going to go for two. It's basically it's do or die now. Is just get as much points as you can as Benz he fires it to the back of the end zone. That's Donald Scott. Six minutes to go in this game as Penn State is spreading the field out for some reason. They are up by 33 points. There's no need to keep putting the hurt on them, but they find Kyle Carter for a gain of 26 on the pass. First and ten for the Lions as they are still spreading the field out. As Hackenberg, he's back to pass and he finds Matt Lehman who powers his way through some defenders and gets a first down. Gain of 11. I, I'm just trying to figure out why they want to keep putting up more points. They're already winning by 33 points. As Hackenberg, he fires it to Matt Lehman in the middle of the field and Lehman gets another first down and a gain of 12. Second down and four for the Lions and five minutes left in the game as Hackenberg back to pass. He finds Alex Kenny and he gets out at around the five yard line for a gain of seven. It's a first down. First and goal for the Lions. There's really no reason to score any more points, but they're going to try their best as Winnack goes nowhere on that run. It is garbage time right now in Happy Valley. 
And second and goal for the Lions. Hackenberg keeps it himself. And he pushes over Donald Coleman. And he scores a touchdown. Second down and nine for the Eagles as time is almost over here in Happy Valley's Benz. He throws over the middle field. He finds Julius Shelby. The Eagles are in hurry up mode right now as they are in a split back formation in shotgun. And Benz, he's back to pass. He throws in the middle of the field. That is Jay Jones, but he drops it. That's a very bad incompletion. Second and ten for the Eagles as they are in a pistol formation as Benz hands it off to Bronson Hill. And Bronson Hill makes his moves and gets up uh, past the 50-yard line for a gain of 13. First and ten after that nice rush by Bronson Hill. And they come out another pistol formation. And Tyler Benz keeps it on the option. And he's got some room, but he gets taken down by the shoes. A gain of five. Third and four with two minutes left in this game as Benz drops back to pass and he's looking for somewhere to go and he's actually got some room and he fumbles the ball. That is that is going to end any chances of a comeback. A first down here and the game is over as Hackenberg, he pitches the ball out to Zach Zwinak and Zwinak, he's got some blocks and he gets a first down past the 40. Up to the 45 and taken down after 22 yards. This is going to be the final score today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Eastern Michigan put up a fight, but just turnover bug and couldn't get anything done. They lost by 30 or 40 points, my bad. And it's a tough loss, tough place to lose, very tough crowd, and it was very, very hard to watch. Bad game. That was a very bad game. Well. That was tough. Very, very tough to watch. Um, Tyler Benz had a very bad day, and I mean, I can't really say anything about the passing game other than it was, it wasn't effective. Uh, rushing the rushing game actually, I I was very pleased with today's efforts. Uh, I think we had over, or no, very close to 200 yards. Uh, Bronson Hill put up 101 yards in the day. That was, you know, that's good for him, but. It, it didn't really produce anything and you know there's only one glimmer of, of hope right now for this team and, and that's Omar McFarlane he is a very he's he's just performing and I love it six sacks in two games well he's he's all we've got pretty much right now unless this offense can turn it around but that's all I've got for today uh, join us tomorrow morning for the next installment of the Eagles Nest uh, we're gonna be talking about everything that went on today well, my name is Aaron Hayes, your host of the Eagles, and that's here on WMU, and I am signing out.